Hey everybody, Chris Holden back here again. I'm showing off a basic reflective floor material here in UDK. Um, this is a simple scene with a box and a sphere, uh, and this is basically we're focusing on the reflection here. So let's talk about that material. Now this is a very simplified material. We're just um, just having adding the reflection with a mask and RGB with a screen position to a blank diffuse and a blank normal map. And uh, we're not really going to worry about uh, any other features besides just getting this reflection on the floor. So next we want to look at the scene capture, ref uh, scene capture reflect actor. This can be found in the content browser in the uncategorized section. It may be different depending on what version you're using. Uh, you can always use the search function here at the top. But just uh, click and drag that into the scene. And um, this will make a big plane. You can move this around. Um, they're updated to see that it has no texture on it that using the default UDK material. Now what we need is a uh, texture render target 2D. So right click new texture render target 2D. I'm just going to quickly name that. Whatever you name it, it's up to you. I'm just kind of throwing out a random name here because there's no reason. That creates this green texture here. Now the default here is 256 but we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, return, return to the scene and select the scene capture action. Open its properties by hitting F4 or double clicking on it. Now in the properties you want to see the texture target here that's in the scene capture actor scene capture capture. Um, for this texture target we want to assign this green texture to that. What that'll do is that'll update it and now we have a real-time reflection being previewed here. But it's pretty low resolution as you can tell unless you're on a lower video setting. I'm going to go back to the uh, size X and Y and I'm just going to bump it up to 1024 just to make a nice crisp reflection. But you got to be careful with this. Uh, this can hurt your uh, performance quite a bit depending on your project, but if you're just doing something for art, don't worry about it. Now let's step through and make the material real quick. Um, <clears throat> first I'm just going to drag this blank diffuse in. And we're not going to worry about the normal for this one because it's not really that important. We're just adding the reflection to the diffuse. Now, drop in the scene uh, texture or er, scene reflection actor texture. Sorry, I can't talk. Anyway, next I like to use the search because it's easier to find stuff. I'm going to add a mask, which or, or component mask is the full name. Its properties by default will be fine. And next, we want to get a screen position. Again, drag that in, and in its properties, make sure to check the screen align very important and just connect that to the mask RGB connect it to the texture sample next I'm just gonna add this but just hit a click and it makes the add and then connect those up and connect that to the diffuse slot checkbox and always remember to save all your stuff if something's not working try saving if you didn't save it might not work and I'm gonna go to the content browser real quick find this material I just made. It's right down here. And drag and drop it onto the surface, which will update to be this surface showing a working reflection. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you're done. If you, you would probably want to make a more advanced material. And here's a, here's a quick example of a floor I made. Um, this has, let me drop into game so you can see it in real time. This basically has a reflective floor with a uh, normal map, diffuse tile, and a few other nice little features and for nail and stuff like that. But anyway, I hope that helps.